Frames, grids, and shapes are key to any engaging design in Canva. They help you showcase images, videos, and communicate information. In this video, you'll learn how to use frames, how to use grids, how frames are different from grids, and finally, how to use shapes in your Canva designs. Frames are graphic elements that help you showcase photos and videos. Go to the Elements tab and search for Frames to view all the options. Some frames are simple geometric shapes, while others have a more decorative style. Click on a frame to add it to your design. Next, select an image or video and drag it into the frame. The content will snap right into place. You can resize frames by pulling the corner handles. Notice how the content inside the frame scales as you adjust it. To reposition the content, double-click and drag within the frame. When you're finished, hit Done. Or simply click outside the frame. You can resize the content by pulling one of the corner handles. Remember, you can always make the content bigger, but you can't make it smaller than its frame. You can also use frames to add a touch of color to your designs. Select the color icon in the toolbar and have fun searching for the perfect hue. If your frame has a border, you'll notice next to the general color icon, there's an additional icon. Click on it to give the border a new color. Just like frames, grids help you showcase images and videos. In the Elements tab, search for Grids to view all the options available. You'll notice the grids are square and rectangular. They're great for showcasing multiple photos. Just click on one of the grids and drop your content in. You may wonder what's the difference between frames and grids. The main difference is that frames will always keep the same proportions when you resize them. On the other hand, with grids, you can change the proportions of the container, adjusting its width or height to better fit your content. If you want to resize your grid while keeping the same proportions, simply pull a corner handle while holding the shift key. Last but not least, let's explore shapes. Search for shapes in the Elements tab. Unlike frames and grids, shapes are not for showcasing photos or videos. They're used as a graphic element to add color to your project or as text boxes to communicate information. To do that, just double-click a shape and add your text. Shapes are super versatile. You can resize them and change their color. By clicking on the border icon, you can add a border, change its weight, and even add corners to your shape. And if you're not sure you're using the right shape, click the shapes icon in the toolbar and try a different one. Whether you want to showcase photos, videos, or communicate information in eye-catching ways, frames, grids, and shapes have got you covered. How are you going to use them in your next project?